Hello friends. Uh, this is the ASP.NET tutorial. This is the second part of ASP.NET staging uh, by using jQuery. In the uh, last video, uh, we have implemented next button uh, by using the jQuery. Right? Now, uh, we are going to implement the previous one. But before that, uh, I just want to add this line over here. One. Okay. Now it's working properly. One, two, three, four. Okay. But still, it goes more. So we have to stop that. So uh, here I have to add a condition that if current page is less than or equal to the uh, total page so it will work properly so let's um, check that now ok now it's not going further and if I go on the first page ok now we need to implement the previous one ok uh, suppose I am on a fourth page and uh, I want to come back. That means uh, I need to load the third page from the fifth, sorry, uh, 11 to 15. Right? So, how we can calculate that? So, the formula is uh, when I come back to, that means uh, we're gonna load the third page. Right? The uh, third is the from the 15. Okay? Uh, the end index will be 15 and uh, 15 minus the size is 5. That means uh, we have to load from 10 to 15. Right? Yeah. So let's on the previous button. We need to implement over here dollar. On the previous button, click function previous page. Okay, first page, and after that, function in the previous page. Okay, again, we need to take all these things, but this time. Not current page plus plus, but this time we need to do minus. Okay, and after that, uh, also a single condition that if current page uh, should greater than one, less than or equal to one, right? Only in that situation the paging will happen. Okay. After that, we have to find the end index and uh, start index. The end index will be the page size into the current page, and uh, the start index would be the uh, end index minus current page. Let's alert this start index plus end index. Okay, suppose I'm on a fourth page now, I'm uh, coming back. So 10 to 15, yeah, it's right for third page, right? Okay. So we are on our right direction. Just implement this for loop and uh, all this stuff over here. Okay. <coughs> on our fourth page, on the next 11 to 15, 6 to 10, and 1 to 5. After that. The previous page will not work. Right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Enjoying this video, right? Okay. Uh, now we're gonna implement the last page. Okay. This is the simplest page implementation. Uh, we need to just do this. Color. Hash last. Dot click function last 
page. After that, just implement the function last page. In the last page, we need all the stuff again. Right? After that, uh, what is the logic of last page? Okay. So if I click on the last page, uh, we have to find out uh, what is the total number of pages and after that uh, load the fourth page. That means uh, in this conditions, we have to load only two records to last record. Right? So the last page will be this 5 into 4. Uh, that is the 20. But 20 is greater than uh, the total record. So we have to uh, load only 15 to 17. That means uh, the 20 minus uh, the page size that will be 15 and uh, 15 and uh, the end index will be the uh, total records. Right? So here uh, we'll find the start index and end index. Okay, what is the page size? Page size that is the 5 and the current page. Okay, uh, we don't need to use current page, we need to use the total page that is the 4. Okay, is equals to 20 and start with the base. But we have to add a condition over here that the end index should not greater than the total record. Right, and if this happens, then the end index. Is equals to become the total records okay and again we have to implement this stuff over here and the current page would be the total page let's do it i'm clicking on last run yeah it's working properly man Okay, the most efficient paging by using JavaScript. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching. In last video, the last part of this video, uh, this uh, paging series, uh, we're gonna implement this page size. Okay. So don't forget to watch because this is so important in every page. Right. Thank you for watching. Was third part of third and final part of the uh, third